Today, we're opening the newest Yu-Gi-Oh set, searching for Starlight Exodia. What's up guys, we're back with another epic new Yu-Gi-Oh video. We have the newest Yu-Gi-Oh set, Battles of Legend, Crystal Revenge. If you guys haven't seen my Rux and Live video where I mentioned a leak that came out, this set has Starlight Exodian. Head, arms, legs, all five pieces come in Starlight in this set, and we will be attempting to pull them in this video. We have two boxes, but first the giveaway, we will be giving away every single pull. So if we pull a Starlight Exodia head, it's all yours for one of the people in the giveaway. So make sure you like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you think about this new set. Let's go ahead and crack right into them. All right, it is time to open up Battles of Legend, Crystal Revenge. We are uh, opening this a little bit early this time. So we, the prices, I mean, they're gonna be off the wall because as you guys know, the set has not released yet to the public in terms of like buying them from your local store or Walmart and all that stuff. And that's when the prices, you know, really go out on Friday of the release day. So Friday this week, and we're gonna see if we can pull a Starlight Exodia piece. So the goal this week is to open up a bunch of this set and hopefully pull the entire Exodia set. We're gonna start today and see if we can do it, but we'll be doing live streams this week, potentially a couple of different videos on Battles of Legend. I don't know where the foil card is. Oh, there's a little, Bit of a ding right there right off the bat already bad quality control anybody surprised not me unfortunately oh and there it is secret rare right in the middle okay we rucks and specialed it right to the middle uh we get a gravity balance this is actually a cool card because a lot of edison side decks have this it's not like necessarily heavily used but it's a nice reprint for that it does have an ulti version as well hieratic seal of the heavenly spheres pretty good card and then toon terror there's a lot of good edison stuff like the black wings are in here which is pretty cool so that's kind of exciting to see those so i'm pretty excited to grab those for myself when i open some you know some cards for my self because this one's the giveaway so i won't be keeping any of these but th there it is blizzard of the far north very nice we got a toolbox i guess there's a secret one secret every pack four ultras and then if you get a starlight of course that would replace the secret i believe odd eyes phantasma dragon very very cool i don't know if i remember this card i know there is a card in here that i think it was it's like the first reprint in a long time it could be that one it's a pendulum card i don't remember exactly which one it was but it was one that was formerly like a, a promo or something this card always reminds this reminds me of The Incredibles. If you guys have seen The Incredibles, of course you have one of the best movies ever. Those little like robot things he fights that are a big circle that just, you can't tell me that doesn't look just like it. All right, Amazon's Hall, very nice. Gadget Box. We've got Performing Pal, Odd Eye Seer, and ooh, Toon Page Flip. So they reprinted like a ton of Toon Chaos in this set, like a bunch of the Toon Chaos Ultra Rares and like Super Rares and stuff like that, and made them Secret Rares, and these look really, really good. Probably time to have one of these. I don't think it's necessarily like needed, but it is a cool reprint. A lot of the cards in here kind of feel like these are nice reprints, but like they're not great because like we kind of got all the great reprints in Mavens. So this set is pretty decent overall, but like the Starlights are really like making it awesome. So if you guys uh, you do, do want to grab some of this, make sure to use my code Ruxin Revenge for 5% off your order. The link will be in below if you guys want to grab some of this. Rainbow Bridge and ooh, the Doodle Beast Tyranno. There it is. Metazoo makes it into Yu-Gi-Oh! Finally. There we go. The Doodle Beast Tyranno. Let's go to the next card. I actually kind of like the Doodle Beast, not gonna lie, they're growing on me a little bit, so I think they're pretty decent. Uh, we just dropped a Crystal Skull. We've got Indiana Jones, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. DD Crow. Everyone was mad this was not a secret rare because this, I don't think, has a secret rare. It already has an ultra rare, so kind of a bummer print on that one, but still a pretty cool card. Fright for Patchwork, thanks, pretty decent card. Avenger at Savior. And Advanced Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger, so we're getting some of that Crystal Beast stuff. Very cool. Actually, very awesome artwork, so cool to see that one. We are kind of taking our time on this first box, and the second box will speed it up a little bit because we've seen the card. So, Hieratic Seal, a seal, I should say. Not Seal, it's a Pokemon. Dragon Nails, Heroic Call. Rainbow Bridge is actually a great reprint. God, it was a crazy expensive when it first came out. Legendary Duel Season 1, I think. Uh, Chaos Creator, there we go. Secret Rare Chaos Creator, actually a pretty good card. Very nice Secret Rare version. That looks really, really good. I don't, what are the big, I'm trying to think, what are the big reprints? There's not a ton of like huge like, oh, well, access code, of course. But there's not a lot like that. It's like access code and then there's not a ton of other huge ones, but access code's huge. Valkyria, Patchwork. Number two, Ninja Shadow Mosquito. All right, we got a mosquito. Very cool. Let's see what else we can get. Battles of Legend. Can we get a Starlight Exodia? Let's see if we can do it. Full Armor Master. Cool. Battle of Sleeping Sprites or Spirits. Tortoise. We got the Odd Eye Seeker. Artemis. This is a big one. This one was in, I think, Genesis Impact, or maybe it was the other one that was really bad. I think it was Genesis Impact. Not a great set, but that card itself was pretty good for, like, in, you know, invoked stuff. And the Collector Rare is pretty expensive, and then it hadn't had a reprint in a couple of years, so it was about time that got one. Oh, Gale, very good for the Blackwing stuff. Battle of Sleeping Spirits. 
We got Token Collector. This is actually much needed because it was good in a few formats ago. And uh, it was very expensive, like five bucks. So it's good to have that. Advanced Dark, Toon Bookmark, more Toon stuff, Secret Rare. So now if you have like a uh, Toon Kingdom or something like that, you can match it up with your other Toon cards and I'll have Secret Rares. So looks good there. What will we get now? We're doing the pack trick because there's only five cards. Another Gale, very good. Oh, Indiana Jones. We've got the G Golem, Stubborn. We have the Fry for Patchwork and the Advanced Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus. We pulled this in Collector Rare a few times out of the... Uh, this is in the same set that had the Blue Eyes. That's the Starlight one that we pulled on a live stream like quite a while ago at this point. I finally sent that to PSA the other day. And speaking of that, I've sent four orders to PSA. So we're going to have a lot of PSA videos coming up. I, it's been a little bit of a lull recently, but I finally got some stuff back out. Toolbox, Dice Dungeon, and Royal Street Slasher. So yeah, we pulled a few of those like crystal beast collector rares and those are really nice in ocg they don't fortunately come in collector rare in the english print but we have the rebellion dragon we've got chaos daedalus one i'm sure a lot of people really wanted to be reprinted one of the cheapest cards out of tune chaos we've got soroka very good black wing rock hammer and oh vayu and yeah this is a huge one for edison format because this card in ulti is like if it first edition up to 300 dollars. it spiked incredibly high if you guys watch guess that price series you know that go check out the series if you haven't seen it yet it's been fun but this is a great reprint for blackwing players in edison and other formats like that so a much more accessible print and it's also secret which looks really good so we'll take that we got the Oily Cicada. Very cool. Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus, straight up the old one. We've got, what does this say? The Earth Bolt Star, Rainbow Bridge. Evil Twin Keys to Kill. Actually a good one. Evil Twins, they will be very happy with that. There's also a collector of that already, I think. But cheaper version, more budget. Very nice. We have the Emblem of the Plunder Patrol, Rebellion Dragon. We've got the Pebble Dog, the Senko, and the Toon Bookmark added again. All right, we are, we are going a little slow on these, so I probably want to pick it up a little bit because we do have two boxes to open. I'm getting a little chatty here. Amazon is Blackwing Breeze, Throw a Call, Avenger at Savior, and Blackbeard, the Plunder Patrol Captain. I didn't realize this was in here. Plunder Patrols reminds me of One Piece. I mean, I guess it's just because of the ships and you know stuff like that, but kind of reminds me of One Piece on the artwork as well. We have Oily Cicada added again, Crystal Beast. Impact Returns, Stubborn, and Blackbeard added again. Back, 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 back to back. All right. Back, back, back. We're like a uh, broken record there. All right. Dynabase, South American Circle, the Crystal Heart, Golem, and Evil Twin, Lila. Very nice. Let me know in the comments if you do want to see more of this set open because we'll be doing a live stream and I'm probably going to do a couple of videos and then we'll do the live. Curse Reflection, Amazon's Hall. I want to do some fun stuff with the new set because I think it'll be fun because the potential of Exodia popping out. Number 100 is actually a good secret rare as well, but potentially like pulling Exodia out of a you know random video would be pretty awesome. I mean, there's five different pieces to pull, so we've got quite the uh, quite the task in front of us. This is the Black Queen using Duel Links, Rockamon, and oh, Chaos Space Secret Rare. That's a good reprint because this card's really expensive in the original print from Doom Chaos, even in Super. Okie doke, let's keep going. Let's keep it up. Let's see what we can do. We have a Dream Shark. Very nice. DD Crow. Beautiful. Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger. Senko. And Doodle Beast Tyranno at it again. These secret rares do look good. I'll give them that. So also nice to see that only the first pack had the ding on it. So it seems like everything else has been okay. We've got an Indiana Jones. We've got a Rock Hammer and the Dignified Trithalon. Is that new cards for that set? I don't even know. I've never even heard of these like G Golems until recently. It seems like they're in every set. Edge of Chain, that actually needed it, okay. Curse Reflection Doll, Pebble Dragon, Senko, and the Chaos Creator. Again, we're getting a lot of repeats, this is weird. We are pulling the same secret rares, it's very strange. Multiple of the same secrets, I feel like there should be more secrets in here, maybe we're just getting a lot of the same ones randomly. Ruach Call, Avenger at Savior, and then an Invalid Dolman, all right. Invalid, Invalid? I don't know, I, I really don't know. Last pack of this box. Let's see what we can get. So far, no access code talker, unfortunately. Let's see. That's also a starlight in this set, which is insane. Nine starlights. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments. Oh, Crystal Beast, Amethyst Cat, the Advanced Crystal Beast, of course. Looks really, really good. I like those. They look nice. Probably not very good, but they look cool. All right, yeah, make sure to let me know what you think about the nine starlights in this set because that is all but confirmed at this point. Actually, I think it is confirmed at this point, but uh, yeah, there's like, you know, access code, Yada's in here. We've got five pieces of Exodia. We have, I think, Blackwing Armor Masters of Starlight, which is random, but I guess, you know, Blackwing stuff is in here. All right, next box. Let's see what we can get. Nine starlights in a single set, five pieces of Exodia. I mean, we've always talked about on live stream, like, you know how cool it would be if they had all Ghost Exodia or all Starlight Exodia? And now it's actually here. It's like absolutely insane. Black Soldier, 
that is amazing the tune blacklister soldier secret rare these secret rares are really hitting too they look really really solid i think that's a solid rarity for a lot of these cards and it's just crazy that they actually did it i mean i'm not surprised because like why wouldn't you do it if you're konami like print amazing old cards as starlight rares like high rarity hard to pull great for collectors um, even like people who are into the meta if you pull that you're gonna be happy because it's gonna be worth quite a bit so you know you make your money back on your box opening and stuff like that so i just think it's a really really cool not necessarily idea because they've been doing it but i'm glad that they're doing it. i'm glad they're like really getting into printing those old cards a lot and like giving them the high rarity prints and i know some people are like oh we don't need any more exodia we don't need more blue eyes yeah we don't but it just makes the set more fun like if this wasn't in here like the set would be a lot less interesting and maybe that people don't like that they might not like that it's more interesting some people will say of course like oh yeah but they're just doing it to sell the set and it's like yeah well of course you know that's a good thing i think that's a good thing for everyone if they put something in there to sell a set and like yeah you don't want it to be like one card to sell the set it's like that's lame because then it's like you have to pull that or it's nothing but i like when they do like cool stuff like ooh, clockwork night and tune rp lady as you guys saw as an upgrade but i like where they do like okay there's nine starlights in here so like you could pull any of those. I know they're going to be hard to pull, probably. I don't know if they've changed the pull rates. They probably haven't, so they're probably still, like, 1 in 25 boxes. Ridiculously hard to pull, but it's like, yeah, this set is, you know, pretty average for the most part besides that. But it does have the Access Code Talker reprint. I mean, if we didn't have Starlights in here, you could say, well, the Access Code Talker, they just put it in here to, you know, sell the set. Well, it's like, now you have the Access Code Talker. You also have nine Starlights. You have solid Edison reprints. I, I just like that they're kind of putting a lot of different factors that make the set interesting i don't think this is the best set we've had all year for sure but like you know it's not the best set ever and by any means but it does have a lot of things that i'm interested in i'm happy about the blackwing reprints i'm happy about the starlights i'm happy about the access code talker so i think there's a lot of things that make me want to open it and i think that's a good thing for a set if there's multiple things that you're excited about then that's a pretty solid set like yeah it might not be the best set that you've ever had or the best set that you're ever going to have but that's not going to happen every time. So I think it's pretty solid, especially coming off of like Mavens being so good. Another kiss a kill. It's hard to follow that up. Mavens was amazing. Like Mavens crushed the reprints. They pretty much any re any card that's been good in the last like six years, they reprinted it. It was insane. So it was very nice for them to do that. And uh, yeah, followed it up with a decent set, I think. Because you normally this would be the set where they would reprint a bunch of stuff. But they kind of took the, you know, the gold. And, which gold does reprint stuff. It just usually didn't matter. So... It's, I, I'm liking it. I think it's pretty decent. There's a Bora. That's cool. Uh, Gravity Balance. And a Quacky Mirror Supplier. Quacky Mirrors. Do people play those? I, I highly doubt it, but maybe they do. But yeah, I'm pretty excited about the set. I think it's pretty cool. We're definitely going to be opening a lot just because, like, me personally, we have to pull the Exodia. You know, like, maybe Yada, I think, is cool, but I, I think Exodia is the one we really got to pull. Toon Harpy Lady. Advanced Crystal Beast Ruby Carbuncle. All right. And I am definitely pumped to do it. So here's the problem. Let's just talk a little bit about how hard it's going to be pull Exodia. So, you know, guys know about the Stardust. Took us 13 cases. Uh, the Ghost Red Eyes might be more comparable to what we're talking about here. Except, oh, Doodle Beast Stego. There's another nice one. Very cool. Took us 13 cases to get a specific Starlight. There was only five Starlights in that set. We opened 13 cases to get the one we wanted. Now, we need five different Starlights, specifically. And there's nine total. So... It's going to be way, way harder. Okay, there's a Lilla. Because not only do we need one of the five, we need five, but there's also four others that we could pull. So let's say we pull a Yada and we pull it twice. Or we pull, like, Left Arm of the Forbidden One three times or something like that. Getting five individual Starlights is going to be nuts. It's going to be so hard. I, I don't think the 10 cases I have will probably be enough. But it might. Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe they increase the pull rates. Here's another thing to think about. The red eyes. Remember how long it took to pull the ghost red eyes? It was about 13 cases as well. There was nine, nine ghost in there. But we were getting like four and five ghost a case. And we still didn't get it to the 13th case. Now we're going to be getting zero to one if it's the same pull ratios of the starlights. Zero to one starlight. Like that could take... There's another black beard. That could take 20, 30 cases at that rate. So like... I don't know. We're just going to have to see how the luck pans out, how, if they change the pull rates at all for having so many in the set. We're just going to have to find out. That is beautiful. Fusion Destiny Seeker Rare. It's so funny because like this set, this card was like in every deck and now it's like not in every deck and now it's got like five reprints, but that's a beautiful looking one. That's really amazing. So yeah, that's just kind of what I'm thinking for the Exodia. I'm nervous about it, honestly. Like I want to pull all of them, but like I don't know if I can afford to pull off. We get it by 30 cases. I don't know if I have time to buy them, sell the cards. You know, I don't know if I have time for that, to be honest. But we'll see what we can do. Artemis, the Majesty of Maiden. But we're going to try. We're going to go for it. 
I don't think it's possible to do in one stream. So we might be looking at multiple streams coming up this week. We're going to do one. We're going to see what progress we can make. Maybe we'll say like until we get an Exodia piece or something like that. I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll say until we get ex a specific Exodia piece. I don't know. Maybe we'll just do like five cases and call it a day. I mean, five cases is hours and hours of opening. So I don't know exactly how to do it. But give me your suggestions in the comments of how we should go about doing this. Because we have never had to pull. There's the Persona Dragon. This is the one I was talking about that hadn't had the reprint. That's the one. I don't know how to go about pulling five different starlights that are like, and not only is it five, you know, there's four other ones. That's the problem. If it was just like all five in the set, it'd be a little easier. It's just going to be crazy. Cobalt Eagle, cool. Solomon Great Circle. Advanced Dark. We got Morphtronic. Chaos Space looks amazing in this, man. It looks so good. These are, The secrets are like really, really looking good in this set. I'm liking it. Well, yeah, make sure to let me know your opinion on everything we've been talking about in this episode of Ruxton 34 opening there's another fusion destiny opening beautiful secret rare cards so make sure to let me know in the comments because i'm trying to figure out how to tackle it guys we got 10 total cases coming from sassy Auto, which they should be here some point this week and then we can start opening up doing all that stuff but uh yeah it's gonna be crazy so and yeah make sure sassy Auto, check him out if you guys want to get some as well uh he has a lot to sell because it's a great set um, so go check it out. Use code, what is it? Not Magnificent Rux. We are now on to Re Rux and Revenge. Not Revenge Rux. <laughs> Rux and Revenge. I think that's what it is. 5% off. It's in the description. If if I was wrong or something like that. Amazon is hauled. You guys get 5% off. Grab yourself some of this. Support Sassy Auto. Also me as well. There's another Blackwing. Because it is an affiliate link. So every time you guys do that, a lot of you guys ask, like, how do I get all these new sets? The affiliate link really helps. Because Sassy Auto... He's hooking me up with an affiliate link. I'm helping him out by telling people, you know, all you guys about Sassy Auto. And when you guys go buy from him, it helps him out because he sells stuff. Helps me out because part of it goes toward the new product. I literally never, he never pays me. He just says, hey, this is how much the affiliate link got. This is the last, this is the last pack, by the way. And he's like, I'm sending you, you know, that you can get this many or whatever. So uh, Advanced Crystal Beast for Cobalt Eagle. So that's just kind of how it works. So whenever you guys do that, just know that you're helping support those big openings and the new openings and stuff like that, which is really, really awesome. Very helpful to me. That We got a little tangent there right at the end, but this is a cool set. I'm pretty excited about it. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe because we've got more awesome stuff coming up with the new sets, the old sets as always and more stuff, PSA graded stuff, as we mentioned in this video. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, Melancholy, and then his high show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Stanley, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.